scrapbookers, it's Katie Scott and I'm back with another installment of December Daily 2013. So I'm up to um, December 19th and let's get started. Um, just going to put a couple things away there. And so on the 19th, it was our day to um, go to an office or kind of like a work Christmas party. It wasn't our office. It was... Um, someone that we do business with and so I have there the fancy invitations and then I have they had like a photo booth at the party it was a fancy party <laughs> um, so let's get started so this is my book so far it's an 8x8 album from American Crafts and I guess I'll just leave this open and move it to the side and what I wanted to show you was um, I had I watched the video called, I think it's called Double Take. It's by Lisa Dickinson, and she did these um, like cut files on the Silhouette Cameo. So I did similar cut files, um, but I, what she did was cut them out of different pieces of paper. Instead, I didn't cut them out of different pieces of paper. I just cut them out of the same colored, or the same paper, but I used um, lighter colors so I can color, like I can use my Copics to color those, um, those letters. And I was going to do, um, I was going to write date night with this, um, but I kind of like the concept of love, love, love. But I also like the concept of, I know a lot of people have gotten, um, Silhouette cameos for Christmas. So, okay, warning, I have not done my hair. <laughs> we went to a movie, I guess I, yeah, I, I don't look very pretty today. <laughs> but let me just show you how the whole Silhouette cameo thing um, works. And let's see how horrible I look. Okay, <laughs> not the worst, not the best. But so I get, um, I go to, I don't know if you can see, I think you can a little bit. So I go to the Silhouette store and then, or the Silhouette program, and I don't, let's just see if I can get that to focus. There we go. So you can sort of see that. So um, what I will write here, I had that love, love, love. Oh, let's see. Well, that's not working at all. <laughs> Okay, so I have a new file. I'm going to X out of my old file. Do I want to save that? No. And so I've got the new file. I know you can't see this, but I promise I'll get back to actually making the page. I just want to show you kind of how long this takes. So I'm clicking on the text button way over here. And then I'm just going to write date night. And I'm just going to write that three times. And then I can move this whole thing, I think, to kind of center it in the page, on the page, because my um, silhouette cameo doesn't always um, print exactly where I want it to. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure there's a fix for that. I haven't looked it up yet. So, what I do is I take the, this thing the cutting mat, and you peel up this thing. Oh, I look so fat. Okay, so I gained like, oh, more than 20 pounds this year. I had an injury earlier in the year that kept me on the couch for like two months, and um, it made me fat. <laughs> and so I just have to, um, I really have to work hard at getting back into the swing of exercising and eating right. So I have a whole lot of uh, New Year's resolutions. Okay, I'm finding this. Oh, this is pretty. This is, um, I want to say this is probably a Cartabella piece of paper, so it looks sort of watercolored, which is a trend <laughs> for um, CHA 2014. And if you don't believe me, um, so I can't remember if this goes down or up. Oh, 
because I've done it wrong. I think when I did the yellow one, I put it down. So I'm going to put this one up. So the part that I want, I'm putting face up. Okay, got that. I open up my Cameo, I turn it on, right? And so, whoops. And then what you do is you take it and you just load it in. So, and what you want to make sure is that you have load cutting mat, not load media. Because there's a, some kind of issue if you don't do that. But you can also like, just move it up a little. So if it's doing the thing where it's cutting the top of your um, cutting mat, which happened to me, um, you can just use actually the bottom arrow to make it go in a little more. So I have what I want here on the screen to print and then I go up in the right hand corner and I can just press cut because I think everything else is already going. So that's just going to make a little bit of noise and you'll be able to see how long that takes. I don't think it's going to take all that long. So what I'm going to do is... Oops. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm moving you around, <laughs> but I, I wanted to show you how I was going to make that cut file because I want to make date night sort of like this. So this will be my, this is, these are the photo booth. <laughs> I wasn't really trying to make the duck face there, but um, we were actually trying to figure it out. <laughs> So it's a genuine duck face, if that makes you feel any better. So these were the fancy envelopes that they came in. And... Because they actually give out tickets to this party. So... I think I'll... I don't know if I'll use that or not. I do have the tickets, though. And, <laughs> like, last year... Two years ago, we went to the party... And then last year, they gave us the tickets. Here they are. But we didn't go, so they were like, our, our friend that works there is kind of like, hey, you were supposed to go and you didn't come. And so we never imagined that they would notice. They did. So, oopsies. <laughs> so here's the, the annual holiday party. I don't know if I'm going to need three of those date nights. I probably should have thought that out a little bit more. Um, let's see. And then the other thing that I thought looked pretty cool. Okay, so one idea would be, I think I'm going to take it, I'm not going to have this red. I think I'm going to use just a white cardstock. And... See if I can cut an 8 by 8 sheet, sheet real quick. Oh, I don't know if I can. I never have completely everything handy. <laughs> like, I always think I'm going to, and then I never do. But that's, this is real life scrapbooking. <laughs> so, if you, if you haven't seen a video of mine before, what I do is I will, um, so that's on... That's kind of fun on that newsprint looking thing. Um, let's do that. But what I do when I make these videos is I just set up my iPad and I have like a tripod mount for my iPad and then I press record and start talking. So if this doesn't seem rehearsed, it's because it is not. So there's the two photos and then over at my silhouette I am just pressing enter for unload and now I have my date night date night date night and I've been getting some comments about how to remove your paper from the cutting mat because mine seems to be very sticky and some people have been saying oh it's not really that sticky. One suggestion was to bend the, st the cutting mat 
So I hope I'm doing that right. That seemed to work pretty well. There's date night, date night, date night. That might be cute for the, the, um, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't decided how I'm going to use this yet, but I kind of like the idea of cutting out what you, the text from the middle of the page, because when you make a page, chances are you cut out this section anyways. So that's one of the things, um, like, Glitter Girl or Chanel has been talking about that a little bit recently and I think I don't think she has an electronic cutting machine but if she did instead of like cutting out the middle to save that part and I don't think she always does it but I think her viewers talk about like well why don't you do that there's just eight nine eight nine eight nine that's kind of cute backed in red kind of dig that um but, uh, so that would be an idea for if you want to save paper, just cut out of the middle of the sheets that you think you're going to use for background sheets. So I kind of like that. Let's see how this is going to work. If I used it like that, I would need to trim it down so you wouldn't really see the night. I could also do it like that, although I think the words sort of looks weird, but maybe okay. Especially if I, let's just see if I can get, so I don't think I really space, I don't think I space, oh I did space them out evenly. But we don't really go on date nights very often. So I could do it this way and have the date night. I don't know. It would be really cool if you could all could just say, Oh, you should do it like this. <laughs> and I could just hear you through the... Let's see if that works. Some of these letters like date will work by turning it over. Because the letters are the same either way. Just see if I can do that. I think that might be kind of cute. And then, I don't know. I'm just playing. I don't think I've done enough playing in my December daily. Because I got behind, I really um, didn't allow myself a lot of time to play. Like, it's mostly been how, so how fast can I get this done? So I haven't done a lot of playing, but I think that's a good thing to do. So a good way to adhere these onto a page is to use the handy dandy sticky dots. And so let me do, let me do that. I could also use a glue stick if I had something to kind of be a mat underneath them. But I just don't have anything handy. So I'm just going to slide these letters onto the sticky dots. And then I don't think the night is going to work the same, so I'll just leave that in the regular color. And if I was very clever, I could have colored those with the Copic markers, but I think I'm just going to leave them so they'll be tone on tone. And... I'm just not going to spend the time to worry about the rest of this while I'm still filming. <laughs> so I'll take those off afterwards. So I'm just going to put the, the sheet back on my cutting mat because I've heard you don't want to get dust on it. Um, and I this is sort of a dusty room. Let's get this back. And so the way that this stuff works is the dots just go onto 
the shape and then you can just keep using them over and over again. It's so cool. So tonight we just got back from going to the movies. We went to go see The Secret Life of Walter Smitty. I keep saying calling him Schmitty, <laughs> but it's just Smitty, not Schmitty. It was good. It makes me want to go to Iceland and Greenland. Or at least get my passport re passport renewed and go somewhere. Um, it was a good movie if you have a little wanderlust like I do. I just want to go. Let's just go anywhere. <laughs> and uh, my husband's like, oh, I don't want to go anywhere. Let's just stay home. Like going to the movies is far enough. <laughs> so we're just naturally opposites in those departments. It's okay. I'd like to get him to California this year. Like, I've never, except to the airport, I went to Hawaii once. So we stopped at the Los Angeles airport, I think, but we didn't get out. So I've never really seen California. I'd like to do that. I like to go see San Francisco and also see those giant trees and wherever they are. I think they're north of San Francisco. Okay. So there is date night. And the other thing that might be sort of fun to do instead of just backing this whole thing is to back each of those date nights could be like a different color. So let me first cut this into an 8 by 8 I'm trying to figure out how that's going to work. So it looks like day night is about six and a half. So I'll leave just a little bit of space on that side. I'm not measuring. I should be to make sure all the margins are even. Yeah, that's not really working. So I just eyeballed that. I didn't measure. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to do about the same thing and hope for the best. Let's see. And then the other thing, I, I did look at Allie Edwards' blog and... Um, She's got a lot of pages where she's using um, confetti and then sewing the um, confetti into the page protector. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I assure you I did no scrapbooking while we were gone. <laughs> um, so let me think about this little idea of doing the different strips behind the date night. I kind of like that idea. This strip is like, it has snowflakes, and I think it might be cute to put a snowflake kind of behind there. So let's see. I'm just going to rip that right there. And yeah, that'll give a snowflake right there. And then I think I'm just going to use regular tape. To adhere that to the back. I'm just thinking it might be interesting to use the Copics to kind of vary the color um, of that background paper. Just let's see if that makes any. Okay, I don't think that looks good. <laughs> Let's see. It's, um, oh, well, you can see that. But I don't think that makes a huge difference. I'm going to skip that part. And just kind of put this into the place where I want it to go. So I'm putting that down with a piece of tape on it. And now I can just put it exactly where I want it to go and stick it down and there we go okay and 
now I have two more of those. And that's where my little basket of scraps is going to come in handy for me. Um, it might be fun too to put, yeah, I like that. So just the opposite side of this piece of paper. Right there. So I'll just do that same bit. There's um, another girl on the, or woman. When we're having fun, I like to call us all girls. <laughs> but there is another woman on the Get It Scratch creative team. And her name is Christy Strickler. And she has a YouTube video where she shows you about scrapbooking on a budget. And she'll take the same piece of pattern paper and like use the flip side of it to make a layout. So she'll do, you know, and the back side is usually going to match the front side. It's clever. Um, so if you haven't seen her videos, I recommend go check them out. They're good. I think you would like them. Uh, and I just need one more. Okay, that's a little bit ugly, but I kind of like the idea of having yellow over here. So I don't think I'm going to need this whole sheet. Set that up. See, that's how, <laughs> that's how kind of crazy I am with the pattern paper. I have way too much pattern paper, first of all. But then when I go to do something like this, I cut it up and then <laughs> I don't want to put it in the garbage can. I want to put it in my scrap pile. Does that make any sense? No, not really. But occasionally I'll go through that scrap pile and do a huge purge. And um, I feel that coming. Like it's going to, I need to do that somewhat soon. So there's the back side of that paper. And then here's my little date night, date night, date night. I almost think it would be cuter if I switched these two. So let's see if I can do that. I think it's going to be, I think I'm going to be able to do that. So let's just do this again. That looks fine. And then this one didn't. I think that's okay. Okay, so there's my date night photos, and I'm just gonna. It's kind of obvious what we're doing to me, and it's printed on the the little sheet there. I have the tickets. Um, I kind of want to include them, but I also think, so I probably should have set up this page just a little bit differently. Um, I am going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might put these in a different pocket. I don't know if you remember, but in my a couple pages ago, I had, um, well actually, whoops, oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> like, there goes the tripod. That's, um, <laughs> uh, whoopsie daisy. Uh, sorry about that. Anyways, I, I think the tickets will go over here in the Christmas concert section. So I'm just going to cut off the top of this envelope and I think that's going to be fine. That will go just in here. Oh. That almost seems like it needs to be smaller. Or here's the tickets. I'll just go right back here. There we go. 
Okay, so then this page, oh, and I didn't even think I really planned that, but both of these papers are by Cartabella. So this is date night, and I'm just going to tape the photo down. And I have an, actually two prints of this, so I would actually like to scan the other one into my pictures on my computer so I can... Um, So that was the 19th. So then I can actually enlarge them, maybe. Not sure if that would work or not. Okay, there is the 19. I think I'm just going to put it right there. I have this gold seal. I don't know, I don't think that's really going to work. I kind of want to use it, <laughs> but I don't think it, it really works here. Unless I had a little circle thing going, which I really don't. So let's skip that for another time. And okay, so the other thing that I thought was really cute that Ellie Edwards was doing is she was just putting all of the confetti into the page and then sewing the top of the page protector. So to do that, oops, let me get my confetti. I know that it's fairly close by here, I think it is. Ah, okay. Um, yes. So I have confetti. Oh, I even have like, I have confetti and I have little wood veneers. And so I'm just going to take the confetti, and I'm just taking that randomly. Not sure I'm going to need that much of it. Let's see. So this is going to go. I didn't put all of it in. But then it will be able to kind of move around in that page. I think that will be cute. I think that's kind of plenty. And then I'll put the rest of it back in. And then once I finish the opposite side of this page, then I will be able to put, um, to sew the top. So it'll stay in there. But otherwise it'll like roam around the page. And that seems kind of fun because we don't really go, <laughs> oh, we don't go on dates anymore. It's so sad. Um, but it's just, it is life at this time. So we do, <laughs> we get to go like once or twice a year, we go on a date. I know that's probably not the greatest of ideas, but it's just, it is real life. Okay, I think I'm going to use those ThermoWeb dots again for the back of this. Um, it's a wood veneer camera. We'll just stick those down. Just stick it down. Pull it up. And then I think I'm going to just place it right about there. I don't really want to take it out because then I think I'm going to mess up the side that the sequins are on, so I'm just going to put that right here. There's the wood veneer camera, and ta-da! <laughs> we say ta-da around here a lot. Um, we saw that movie, Burt Wonderstone, about the magicians, and if you haven't seen that, it's really funny. Um, it was had Will Ferrell, Jim Carrey, and Steve Carell. It was super funny. Okay, so there's, let's see, I'm going to need, I'm going to do the 20th, I think, um, in just a minute, but that's, that's the 19th, and that should be long enough for a video. I am Katie Scott, um, my blog is called Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking, and thank you for watching.